face IFK Gothenburg in the first leg of the uh, UEFA Cup final. Gary Champion has been watching preparations in Gothenburg. Here's his report. Sunshine greeted Dundee United for their training session. All around them, though, was chaos, with the ground resembling a building site. Certainly for the players, it was quite a shock after some of the grand stadiums they've played in this year. It's a bit bumpy to play silky soccer, um, but we all come back that we're playing slightly different, I suppose. Um, it's a game that we're really looking forward to, so we're not going to let the park upset us at all. It was a Bruce Springsteen concert and 60,000 fans that caused so much vibration that parts of the ground have had to be rebuilt. Although staff are confident that by tonight, this ground will shrug off its builder's yard look and return to the familiar scene of a football pitch. There'll be definitely no machinery. There's going to be about 50,000 people on the stands here. We will cover everything that looks not so good today. There'll be flowers around and the stands will be nice and clean. But the shock that the players got with the pitch was nothing compared to the fans. Their surprise was the cost of living in Sweden. Even Barcelona and uh, Germany for the Borussia game, this is definitely the most expensive one. Uh, super accommodation, beautiful place, but very, very expensive. An ordinary meal costs at least 20 pounds, and even the humble hamburger is virtually twice the price that fans will pay back home. But it's not held the fans back. Over 3,000 are expected to travel, and the boys in orange and black are welcome in Sweden. While Stunder United's efforts on the pitch have certainly put the club on the map, it's the fans that have earned as much acclaim, although less publicised. There was no trouble in Spain or Germany. In fact, in Mönchengladbach, just one fan was arrested, and he was an English soldier. And if that unblemished record continues tonight here in Gothenburg, then it could well be Scottish fans that have given English clubs their biggest helping hand in getting back into European competition. This is Gary Champion, TVAM Sport, Gothenburg. Well done, lads. Good to see Hamish out there as well.